Yo, my people, what's good? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Patala FC. We are within. Moment of silence for those who are not watching AFCON. Because, wow, what a tournament. The tournament has been great. Nothing to criticize. Absolutely no criticism. And huge upsets on top of that. Huge upsets. Uh, <laughs> Senegal are gone. Morocco are gone. Huge performances from the teams that knocked them out in Ivory Coast, knocking out Senegal. In South Africa, knocking Morocco out. Morocco are semi-finalists at the World Cup, but their record at AFCON remains quite shambolic. There's something that I'd like to note, though. I feel Morocco's style of play, it complemented the World Cup because they were more defensive, whilst they had to be more possessing the ball at AFCON and I don't think it's their thing I don't think they're good at holding the ball and trying to break down defenses I think they're more effective on the counter so AFCON did not work in their favor and Moroccans next time and they'll be the hosts next time so we shall see um, I think the, the game that intrigued me the most the most interesting game for me was Angola and Namibia both teams got red cards in that game but Angola staggered me Mabulu is an amazing winger slash striker Gelson Dallas is an amazing striker slash winger and they've been playing so well in attack I think Angola's attack is highly underrated so far and we shall see how it goes because I believe in the next round they will be playing Nigeria we'll double check that one but of course um to exit my presenter mode and giving you all the results that you can check <laughs> We're going to build our round of 16, 11, just as we did with the group stages. We definitely need to build our 11. It's just a few games, eight games. Two of them ended on penalties, like we said, four, five teams, actually. Five teams got clean sheets in the round of 16. So an interesting tournament, like to say the least, it's been amazing. I think this has been the most epic outcome I've personally witnessed. The football pitches are beautiful there in Cote d'Ivoire. The fans are showing up in numbers. Mama Joy! <laughs> but we move. Um, it was hard to figure out a formation. Because a formation has to make sense with the players involved. So don't kill me when the wingbacks are not defensive. Don't kill me if the wingbacks are wingers. <laughs> but we're going to do a 3-5-2. Three defenders, five in midfield that can become a back five and two attacking forwards options. Yes. So in goal, the only man that has actually exited the tournament and is back in Mauritania, Mauritania's goalkeeper, Babaka Nias. Nias was amazing. He was immense against the Cape Verde Islands. He did everything. And, and even the mistake that was made that caused the penalty, which Cape Verde converted through Ryan Mendes, Nothing was done wrong by Mauritania. Mauritania were dogged in defense. They just panicked in that crucial moment. And towards the end of the game, they were actually led to their own demise, I would say. But yes, Cape Verde deserved winners. But in goal, across the round of 16, I did not see a keeper more effective than Baba Kanias. So big shout out to him. And there we go. Back three. We have a back three with Ibrahim Diakite was Diakite pronunciation do not butcher me <laughs> alongside South Africa's Kekana and Truest Ekong Truest Ekong of Nigeria I think he was immense in their game alongside his compatriots his uh, Victor Osimhen and others who will probably make the team let's get there let's get there so the back three is complete with Diakite Kekana and Truce de Kong. Midfield, where it gets lit. On the right side, wing back, wing back of sorts. Ryan Mendes keeps his position. He was in our group stages team. He's still in the team because he's, he's having an amazing tournament overall. In midfield, <coughs> forgive me. In midfield, um, yeah, this midfield three, I would even take it at club level and i'm just playing i'm just playing but in the dm position would we'll definitely deploy frank kessie because frank kessie was amazing was amazing for ivory coast next to him Deboho mukwena 
if you watch the game against Morocco, the Boko Mukwena, Zidane-esque. <laughs> and next to them, another man who keeps his position from the group stages team. Into this team, our Patada FC, round of 16, Afghan team, Kamori Dumbia. 20-year-old, playing amazingly at this tournament. Highly effective for his team, playing alongside very good Malayan players. Yves Bisuma is right there. And the bright spark in midfield remains Kamori Dumbia. So, what a guy. And on the left side, I told you these guys are wingers, not wingbacks. So, please forgive me. Ademola Lukman of Nigeria for the brace that he got to secure the win for Nigeria. And who assisted him with that brace? Victor Osimen makes the team in the front line. And alongside him, it would be a sin to not put Gelson Dalla. Because I think Gelson Dalla is well on his way to being player of the tournament. And we shall see how it goes in the next round. Yeah, but that's the that's the 11. Uh, 3 5 2 11 uh, for my round of 16. And it's been amazing so far. Can't wait for the quarterfinals to kick off. And we see who goes home. Um, those that have been watching know that I predicted that Morocco would take this. Firstly, forgive me because I did not know that Morocco would be drawn against Bafana Bafana. And if I had known, I think my prediction would have swayed a different direction because I am quite patriotic about where I'm based. Yes. <laughs> but now, yeah, South Africa did the most. South Africa's performance was amazing. And manager Hugo Bose, am I saying it? Is that, is that correct? Yes. He would be the manager of this 11 if I am to pick a manager because his performance in the second half, especially of Morocco versus South Africa, wow great wow everything tactically players marking certain players hakimi being man marked with two players every time amazing very clean and hakimi missed the penalty so he just had a bad game in and out so yeah um we move uh make sure you are part of the family so we can also talk about the semi-finals 11 oh sorry the quarterfinals 11 and then we'll talk about the semis 11 semis one will probably be just two teams we'll see when we get there right we move